okay so related to refrigeration and air conditioning okay we will discuss some key key points related to refrigeration and air conditioning okay so uh, we will start with uh, the understanding the specification of a refrigerator okay so refrigeration or air conditioning the uh, thermodynamic process involved in both the processes are same okay uh, whether it is refrigerator or air conditioning in both the cases um, there are four processes involved in uh, the, the four thermodynamic processes are involved in refrigeration and air conditioning okay but the difference between uh, refrigeration and air conditioning is like kind of uh, uh, in a fridge uh, you want to uh, like uh, the volume uh, the let us say we say that specification of a refrigerator is 165 liter or say 250 liter big fridge. nowadays there are double door fridges okay so one of them is your freezer and other is your or the other compartment okay so in freezer you are maintaining the temperature very low like say sub zero temperature less than zero degree whereas um, like uh, uh, different chambers of a refrigerator are maintained at different temperature right so uh, so the volume like uh, what is first is uh, we say that it is a 165 liter fridge so earlier the single door fridge the uh, it is we say it is 165 liter okay so what does 165 liter actually mean say suppose say i am saying it is 165 liter okay so that means it's the enclosed volume of the refrigerator which can be cooled okay so that's the volume of the uh, chamber which is being cooled in a refrigerator so liter is nothing but unit of a volume okay so 165 liter you can always say that 165 into uh, 1 liter is 1000 cc right yeah 1000 cc okay so uh, 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 let us say uh, your uh, fridge is of uh, 2 meter height okay so 2 meter height means 200 centimeter uh, 200 centimeter okay so uh, the your length is say 200 centimeter okay okay so let us say uh, the uh, width of the fridge how much it is okay so so this is uh, let us say my width of the fridge okay so this is my width of the fridge so my height is let us say 2 meter 200 centimeter right yeah this is 200 centimeter and then width uh, let us say your uh, uh, width is let us say 1 meter right uh, if this height half of it let us say it is 1 meter then it will be say 100 centimeter just this is a typical value okay i am not saying exact value just to understand what does that volume mean okay so so this is this and then the uh, the th uh, the depth okay so this is my depth or the, the this width. one okay so this is this is my depth of the refrigerator okay so uh, so let me let me put it as two two hundred liter okay so this is two hundred okay so this is 200 right 200 into 1000 cc okay so so that means uh, this is 200 into 1000 cc that is a centimeter cube right mm. so uh, 200 that means so 200 let us say this is 200 this is 100 okay so another 10 is left mm. okay so 200 so this is equal to 200 into 100 uh, into 10 that means let me say this is my 10 this is my 10 so 10 centimeter 
that much depth. So this is typical, it can be more also. So that is that gives me the understanding. Okay. The, if we okay, so this is kind of my refrigerator volume. So when I say that uh, the volume of my the um, uh, when you say that my fridge is uh, two two hundred liter, mm -hmm. okay. So it means that um, the uh, enclosed volume that can be cooled using the refrigerator is uh, two hundred uh, two hundred liter or two hundred thousand cc, mm -hmm. okay. And then it will be two hundred into hundred. So this is your uh, this is your height, this is your width, and this is kind of your depth or whatever, okay. Yeah. So that's what you understand by uh, one specification of a refrigerator. So nowadays you have 200, let us say, you have 200 liter, 250 liter uh, fridge. Okay. 250 liter fridge. So out of this 250, 200 liter is your main compartment and let us say 50 liter is your, is your fridge, right? Yeah. Fridge. We say double door fridge or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is the main compartment. Okay. Uh, so the difference between the main compartment and the freezer is in freezer you keep it at sub zero temperature. That means uh, it will uh, formation of ice when it possible. Uh, like you might have seen, we, we also in UK we had a separate chamber at the below that is also a freezer. Mm -hmm, yeah. We used to put frozen foods like the prawns or uh, let us say uh, like the fish. We used to like the, uh, in uh, UK and all the, that uh, one fish which will be very hard like uh, diamond kind of hard. So they put it in the freezer. So it all the, like which kind of food that uh, can should be, be kept at time. what temperature that depends on like the bacteria formation. Okay. Yeah. So you want to uh, put uh, some uh, ice creams and other things at lesser temperature you want to uh, put, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, dairy product and milk and all, you don't need uh, so that kind of sub-zero temperature, okay? Mm. Uh, so uh, there are, uh, uh, depending on the requirement, uh, mm. like at what temperature bacteria can get formed, you have you different uh, uh, different uh, chambers of the refrigerator are kept at different temperatures and accordingly you put uh, different types of food, food products in there. Okay. Yes. So, for example, a typical uh, refrigerator, uh, you will have, say this is my refrigerator. So, let us say I have different chambers in my refrigerator. Let us say the lower most chamber is my freezer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it is sub zero temperature. So this freezer, it you can say typically it is at minus ten degree centigrade. Mm -hmm. That kind of temperature you meet. Then above the freezer you have a called a chiller. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this chiller is little above the freezer temperature, mm -hmm. which is around like say we maintain it as like say uh, minus uh, three degree centigrade or in mm -hmm. that range. That is your chiller. Okay. Then uh, above that you will have some kind of your vegetable dryer, okay. So you have vegetable, so you have vegetable uh, dryer uh, where the temperature is between, it is positive, okay. So it can be between 1 to 3 degrees centigrade, mm. okay. There you keep your vegetable, okay. So, mm. and uh, where you put your, uh, like say food items. Uh, for example, your different, uh, uh, you want, you have uh, cooked it in the daytime and you do want to serve it in the evening. So the, here you put your food items, mm -hmm. food items, you can put it here. Yeah. Okay. So the, so these food items can be maintained at something around say three to six degrees centigrade. Okay. So likewise, uh, different uh, Chamber chambers in a refrigerator can be kept at different temperatures. temperatures. Okay. Similarly, on the door side, so this is inside, you have a door side. Mm -hmm. So in door side, you can put your egg or other dairy product also, you can keep it in the door, like cold drink and other things. You can put it on the door side. There the temperature is little bit higher, right? Mm -hmm. 
in the like you have the door set mm -hmm. there you can put okay so and also there is uh, there is a temperature adjusting uh, there is a temperature adjusting uh, knob in, inside the fridge okay so in summer you have to keep the temperature uh, uh, adjustment little low because uh, what will happen uh, like there are chances that hot air because it is not completely uh, air tight so some air may enter inside so um, so between summer and winter you adjust the temperature according to your requirement okay mm. so okay so that's about one specification in fridge okay then okay so that is volume specification you take a picture we we'll go to the next so this volume this is a difference between refrigeration and air conditioning mm -hmm. what is the difference the volume uh, here uh, the volume is just around uh, say 200 liter okay mm -hmm. but in refrigerator uh, in air conditioning you are the volume is much higher yeah. you are keeping a complete room mm -hmm. uh, uh, cool uh, room cool okay but the temperature maintained in the air condition is comparatively yes. less okay so you want 20 degree 22 degree centigrade whatever the human comfort so in air conditioning not only temperature you maintain good humidity also okay mm -hmm. some 75 percent relative humidity and all mm -hmm. in uh, refrigeration you are bothered about temperature mm -hmm. but in uh, air conditioning you are bothered about temperature and maintaining a good temperature and humidity so ideal in indian condition it is like 22 degree centigrade and 75 percent relative humidity and all okay and uh, the uh, the um, in air conditioning the capacity the volume capacity is much higher as compared to refrigerator because you are completely cooling a room okay mm -hmm. so um, uh, but the thermodynamic processes involved in both refrigeration and air conditioning and okay. same and components are also same okay so we will go discuss that okay so one specification we have covered so nowadays when you are uh, buying a air conditioning, he was telling, okay, we, mm -hmm. are you going to take a 1.5 ton AC or are you going tonnage. to take a 2 ton AC? So what does that tonnage means that will do it? Okay. I'll take any picture. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, uh, refrigerator uh, or air conditioning, they have four processes, four processes, uh, they are, like say, let, let me draw uh, two diagrams, okay, one is called, uh, the th these are thermodynamic diagrams, uh, thermodynamic cycle diagrams, okay, so, so this is your, uh, So, okay, so this is, I will draw a PH diagram, okay. In the P, it is pressure, okay. Pressure, okay. In H, it is called enthalpy, which is otherwise called as the heat it's content not. or whatever, okay. So, the, uh, how does the thermodynamic, what are the different thermodynamic processes? So, horizontal line this is a horizontal line and then this is something like this okay so this is the ph uh, ph diagram so the this is uh, there will be a refrigerant inside this okay so the, the refrigerant will go through the uh, thermodynamic process that refrigerant is nothing but chlorofluorocarbon okay so just to remember that so let us say we start with 1, 2, 3, 4, okay. So this 1 to 2, the, therm, the refrigerant goes from 1 to 2, okay. 
then it goes from 2 to 3 then it goes from 3 to 4 then it goes from 4 to 1 okay, okay. so this uh, uh, this is a horizontal line so so this 1 to 2 happens inside a this is called a evaporator evaporator okay so it is evaporation happening inside this so let me draw the actual component diagram so here let us say evaporator is nothing but a coil okay so this is a coil okay and then the next process is from evaporator it will go to a compressor okay so the compressor where the this is compressor will represent it like this because there is compression the volume is decreasing as you go to this side so after compressor it enter inside a condenser okay so this is a condenser okay it goes here it goes it goes and then uh, it goes like this then it goes inside a condenser okay then after condenser it goes through a something called a throttle valve okay so there are four, four processes okay one is your evaporator evaporator condenser uh, this is condenser throttle valve so this is your compressor and this is your throttle valve okay so you know inside uh, uh, the on the left side of this uh, ph uh, this diagram this line on the left side you have liquid so left side you have liquid okay. on the right side of this uh, separation line you have vapor so in between here you will have liquid plus vapor, vapor. Okay. so uh, what is happening uh, between 1 to 2 this is already liquid plus vapor and by absorbing heat this is con getting converted into complete vapor mm. okay and what is happening inside the compressor that vapor mm. is getting compressed from from a low pressure to a high pressure so this is pressure p okay so this is your pressure p right mm. so this is your pressure p so inside uh, the um, uh, so inside the compressor compressor means it has already become vapor so it is uh, you are compressing it mm. to a higher pressure so th this is higher pressure yeah. okay then inside the condenser condenser what is happening this liquid plus vapor finally it is getting condensed to liquid mm. so everything has got converted to a liquid. liquid so this is a high pressure liquid so at 4 you have a high pressure liquid so when at 4 you have a high pressure liquid when it passes through a throttle bar the pressure drops suddenly okay, okay. So that liquid gets converted to liquid plus vapor. Okay. okay so inside the uh, inside the throttle valve, you you there is there is a sudden drop in the pressure. So if there is a sudden drop in pressure, in the liquid will get converted into vapor. vapor. Okay. So what happens now? You know, uh, we when we go to the hilltop or let's say on Mount Everest, you cannot uh, boil your food. Because with decreasing in pressure, the boiling point decreases. Mm. So, because the boiling point decreases, it will not absorb required amount of heat mm. to to uh, cook the food. Mm. So, what is cook? While cooking, you are absorbing certain amount of energy so that the solid is becoming uh, like uh, soft and all yeah. that. Okay. So, when you go to the Mount Everest at a hilltop your uh, boiling point has decreased mm. so you need a pressure cooker there mm. so pressure cooker you can create a artificial pressure so your boiling point increases yeah. similarly at home also what does the pressure cooker does it creates an increased pressure so that's why the boiling point increases that's why it can absorb more heat and the food will, food will get cooled quickly mm. so similar process here but because the pressure is dropping okay so the liquid is getting converted to liquid plus vapor okay yeah so these are the uh, four processes that is happening inside a uh, air in, 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 uh, inside a refrigerator so similar things happen in air conditioning also okay yeah. the 
the four components in the refrigeration and air conditioning are evaporator, compressor, condenser throttle. and throttle valve. Okay. So let us now understand. Uh, so this refrigeration uh, principle, you have to uh, follow two things. One is first law of thermodynamics and other is second law of thermodynamics. Okay. So what does second law of thermodynamics says? Like without external work, uh, the natural tendency of uh, heat is to flow from high temperature to low okay. temperature. But if you are trying to, uh, you, you have to change, change the direction, you have to spend some, some work. external energy. Okay, so. that is, that's why it is second law of thermodynamics. Because you are uh, throwing some heat from the refrigeration chamber to the outside. Right. So you have to spend it's some work. Done. So how do I uh, represent that? How do I spend that work? Say, uh, this is my this. So this is the cyclic process that is going on. And this is this. Okay. So I have to spend some work. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a reverse of heat engine. Mm -hmm. So I am giving some work. And I am taking away some heat. That is Q2. Okay. And I am throwing some heat. That is Q1. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this Q2, where from you are telling? Taking from the refrigerating chamber. So this is source is nothing but your refri refrigerator chamber. Okay. Mm. Chamber. Okay. So and where it is going? To the room. Okay. To the room it is going. Okay. So here this Q2 is the heat that is absorbed by this refrigerant in the evaporator. So this is Q2. So it is taking Q2. So by taking Q2, that refrigerant is con getting converted to vapor. Yeah. Okay. So this is Q2. And here you are up, compressor and pump, they take some work. Mm. So you have to supply some work there. Okay. So you and then this uh, uh, whatever from here the condenser, the condensation start. Condensation means it is throwing away, condenser is throwing away Q1 heat to the outside. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, like uh, the refrigerator is getting condensed and Q1 heat is going to the outside. So uh, in the condenser it is Q1, in the compressor it is W, in the evaporator it is Q2. Mm -hmm. So, Q2 heat is taken from the refrigerator chamber, chamber. okay, and uh, then you apply some work that becomes a vapor, okay, so that vapor is converted to liquid, yeah. so when it is converting, you have to throw away some heat, yeah. this is Q2 is heat in, Q1 is heat out, right, so here, uh, uh, yeah, uh, so here, uh, 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 unlike heat engine, in refrigerator there is a term called COP, okay, mm. that is called coefficient of performance. performance, okay, coefficient of performance, which is nothing but equal to uh, desired effect, okay, so desired effect by work done, work done. So what is your desired effect here? Q2. Mm. Because you are you want to take more and more heat from to uh, cool it. So it is Q2 by W. Okay. Q2 by W. And as per first law of thermodynamics, we know Q1 minus Q2 is equal to W. w. Okay. So this Q2 by this becomes Q2, Q1 by, by, Q1 Q1 Q2 by Q1 minus Q2. Q2. So, how do we uh, uh, how do we uh, um, uh, calculate the COP of a refrigerator? That we should know. So uh, earlier we have uh, discussed like the temperature inside a refrigerating chamber. Say somewhere it is minus five and somewhere it is plus five also. Yeah. It can vary from minus five to plus five. So on averaging you can say that my temperature inside my refrigerator zero. is zero. Okay. So, my T2 is equal to, let us say, 0. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, that's what, uh, uh, if you consider ideal process, okay. Yeah. 
so outside the, um, the um, uh, refrigerating chamber uh, outside the evaporator it is zero refrigerant is also at zero yeah. even though there will be some temperature difference ideally it is zero okay. and you are throwing it to, to a room at let us say it is at uh, 27 degrees centigrade okay so um, room so your room which is your t1 this is your room which is at t1 is equal to 27 degrees centigrade okay. yeah. So what will be my COP? COP always I put as absolute temperature. So uh, it will be T2 by T1 minus, minus T2. T2. Okay. So T2 is uh, uh, 273 Kelvin yeah. because that is 273 Kelvin, 273 Kelvin. Okay. And this one is 300 Kelvin. Yeah. Okay. So this is 3, 273, then T1 is 300 minus, minus 273, okay. which is equal to 273 divided by say, 27. Okay. So your COP in this case is equal to 10, 10, 10, 10, something around 10. 10.2. 10. 10. 10. 10. So this is what the typical COP of a refrigerator will be 10. Okay. So you take a picture, will you? So now we have uh, discussed the typical COP of refrigerator is 10. Okay. Uh, so uh, now we have understood different processes in a refrigerator and uh, the COP and uh, the volume, uh, volume uh, the what does the volume mean. So in the next session, we'll we will uh, discuss about the tonnage and uh, uh, how much uh, energy the and the different specification like voltage, current, hmm. uh, wattage and all of refrigerator. So, thank you.